G'day and welcome back to our lucky Russian campaign in CK2. So I was thinking uh, we're 26 years old, we want to make sure that we don't die. So I'm going to change from the intrigue focus down to hunting to get the uh, health bonus there. Also improve our land organization, hopefully. Um, having more guys would be good. All right, so switch that across. And does that actually, no, you have to wait a bit. There you go. Now, organization's the same. Not sure exactly how that works yet. All right, suggest we build a great monument. We can't afford to lose the gold because we're literally about to have enough money to do the thing, but we do need 250 more piety for the thing. Otherwise, uh, prestige would be good. Levy down. All right, let's have a look at the levy. 1600 of 24. We click this. You know, he came down by 100. The demand is just, yes, told him to stop uh, trying to fabricate for Blue Zero. Received word that the Bowmen are in place. Right, who are we trying to kill? This Chief Gear. He likes us. The problem is we are his heir. So why do we bother? He's actually a kick-ass guy. Um, shouldn't have done that. Uh, can we cancel it now? I wonder why we were trying to kill him. With my great martial ability, I've rounded up and executed the people of Luki. Alright, so, what is this? One per month. And we need 149 or something. 147. Ooh, tech. Economy, we could go for construction. I think we need castle infrastructure eventually to build that stone hill fort. So let's get that now, because you have to have the uh, stone hill fort to be able to go feudal. Red somewhere in here. Adopt feudalism. Uh, capital Holdings has a stone hill fort in Novgorod tribe. Uh, wife is pregnant. She's pretty good. Don't really want to risk having another son. Fall of the Avars, and isn't she old? No, she's 25. Okay, Fall of the Avars. So Avaria has turned into Pannonia. We can only get one more vassal. Um, your acquaintance died of smallpox, fine. What can we plot for? Revoking things. He has Twerv, Yasma, and Smolensk. He does actually need to die. And we're already a known murderer, so why not go for it? Okay. Actually, when we do this, we get uh, 500 prestige. Awesome. That'll buy us 2,500 men when we go to war. Other problem is going to be we need three of these holy sites. So we've got one. We're going for that one. The most generous offer. Alright, what are you saying? So recommenders lack formal training in military tactics. Oh, this would be awesome. Okay. Um, we would owe you a favour. That's fine for making all of them better. Alright. And then we've got cultural advance. So, not sure exactly what we want. Low centralisation, I think. Let's go legalism. And then uh, wait until we have Russia. He wants us to press his claim. That's how he's going to spend it. Against High Chief of Severia, who has 1.2 thousand. And that's all. Well, yeah. And then if we can do it without raising our own domain, which looks like we can. So who are we at war with? Wesleykin has borne the child of another man. I cannot believe this betrayal. Our opinion of her goes down. Unfaithful harlot. Um, Alright, they've all come in. Are we allowed to arrange a divorce? Divorce for her proven unfaithfulness. Her close relatives will still be insulted. Non-aggression pact with... Chief Flard would end. That's fine. Her family is him. 
our sun. We don't really care about our sun's opinion of us. Um, she is not being used for anything. So yeah, we'll arrange the divorce. Alright, can we marry anybody more useful? Who is too old to have children? No. What about marrying a ruler? Who is too old to have children? Same people. Alright, if we marry for intrigue, no. Do we lose for not being married? Doesn't look like it. The domain, alright, that's the problem. So what we actually want to marry for is stewardship. Stewardship and learning with the priestess. Well, she's a little young. Lose some prestige. Probably should have kept the unfaithful wife. Here we go. Gain prestige and monthly prestige gain. Capital monument gets ancestral monument. That's just forever, apparently. That's all good. We accept the suggestion and now we're good again. Alright, we will continue obligating vassals. Very good. Alright, so most of these guys are ours. Who's the one we're against? Severia. We already outnumber them. So this should be easy enough. If they bother getting across the river. Um, can't tell. The 900 is the enemy. Oh, just. Nice. Turned at the end there. Somebody must have brought in a good commander. And that looked like somebody was sick. No, that's a uh, no hospital thing. Okay. We're at 130 ducats. Not too long until we form a Rus. Raised tribal army is now finally available. So you can do this any time, but as soon as you get out of war, you lose them, and they are crazy expensive. Twenty-eight percent. I do like winning wars without actually participating. The book has finished. Everyone knows that I've spent several years directing the work on my book. When today I'm presented with the final product. Excellent. The legendary Slavensky. So it is about this huge dynasty of uh, four known people, of which half are dead. My father died at age 40. Alright, to gain 100 prestige, it is added to the treasury. Hopefully it is a good one. Quality 3, holy crap. Good monthly prestige. Density opinion up, own children opinion up. A high chief must do all in his power to highlight the glories of his house. This tome sets a spectacular standard. That is very good. Does mean we're going to have to start protecting Novgorod when we're at war though. Held counties, held duchies, vassal barony, vassal counties. Build a legend, 1.6 per month. Ancestral monument, plus 10%. Technology, 0.9. But that is a pretty good gain, right? Alright, how are these guys looking? 30%. Good, shouldn't take too long. It's already on 75. Unfortunately, it's only for claim on perish level. For the guy that's way up there. Actually, that's good. If that's where he is. His liege is of the Magyar. Hmm. Oh, that's why they went down there. That was his uh, claim. Alright. How about we get your stuff? We gain 4.6 prestige from our massive contribution of uh, zero men. Send that. Nomad agitation. Alright, we have to build stuff down here. How does it work? Um, unless you have at least two buildings in the tribal holdings, meaning these ones. That means we have to spend money. No, let's just forget that and let them uh, lose it. Made the chieftain of Perius level his primary title. As you would. If it's increasing religious fervor, praise Perun. Alright, 142 ducats. Has it become any cheaper? No. 142.8. We have 142.4. 0. 0.7. We can create it now. Okay. Need to control half. We do. Create that. 
gives us 400 prestige, costs us gold, and costs us piety, which is a little annoying, but BAM! King Zbigniew of Rus. Update this. There we go. And we've just got some guys. I really need a warning for when that actually happens. Actually, that would be that pop-up. wondering why that keeps coming, saying about the uh, gained opinion. It's because of this. Alright, so these zealots want to go and attack somebody. We are technically capable of doing that. If we declare war up here for the conquest of Ingria. Seems fine. And we'll get them to do the work for us. Um, he's only going to raise 400 men, so we'll just send these guys straight over. And fulfilled our massive ambition. So, how about we groom an heir? It's the only thing available. Increases fertility, unfortunately. Could be a bad thing. Alright, we're at 6 out of 7 now. We get more because we're now king rank. Tribal's plus 2 as well. It's all good. So, 600 on 2, 446. Let's go around. So we'll take that river crossing. And nomad agitation we're going to ignore. Everybody accepts the call to war. Alright, so we are 28 years old. It's 778. And we have formed Rus. Um, to form the Empire of Russia. We control 31% already. So we need to get down through Kiev. Or Kiev and Rus. Um, we don't have to claim on Kiev, do we? No, only on Rana. Which we definitely need to go and do. Um, we haven't actually raised anybody yet. So he's got 1.17. So 1.2, that makes... 2,000, 2,700, 2,800, plus that, 2,900, yeah, 3,500, roughly. And he also has Patricia and Sorbia. No, that's one of his. That's one of his. Alright, so they're a bit too much at the moment. Um, is our guy fabricating in Kiev? He is. What's our chance? 15%. Alright, our guys should come in before that is a loss. Not quite. That sucked. Like a daylight. Oh, gained 300 gold. Holy crap. Chief Nikita beams a smile at you while handing over a patch of gold. He claims it contains the savings accumulated from hard work and donations from the richer families in your realm. How do you score that event? I want that far more often. Okay, well, with that, we can definitely go and steal that from Pomerania. Though it is only one thing. Um, yeah, that's still the way we'd have to do it. Okay, we'll declare the war. For the claim on Rana, send that. And... If we're going to be going through there, we might as well kill somebody else on the way, like this guy. He has no vassals, so declare the conquest of Lagala. We need to start working on our Slavic moral authority. So, send that one. He's got a lot more guys. Um, no, it's fine, we'll just go with that. So, we're going to raise our personal levies. Mostly light infantry. Alright, bring them in. Pereyaslavl, Zaleski, it still won't go, and Majaisk still won't go. This is Pereyaslavl, why will he not join? Pressed his claim, so we don't need to kill him anymore. Alright, who is the other unhappy vassal? Chief of Atwer. Would be the better one to kill. Let's so switch that around. Um, there are a few threats. No, was I looking at the wrong thing? Usurped title. Yeah, you definitely need to die. Hmm. Alright, kill him first. And our known plots. Fabricated claim on us. Excuse me? Currently considering a call to arms. Well, let's wait on that. I'm going to kill Vladimir. He's the diviner. You're not allowed to kill him. 
and kill Yarapolk. He's a Chancellor and Commander of Twer. Actually, Diviner of Rostov. That's not us. Alright, you will not end your plot. Fine. Chief Nikita reminds you of all the good work he's done lately. Oh, gained 200 gold. Why are we uh, just rolling in the money now? Hell yes, we'll take just. So, that makes everything a lot better. We're up to eight. And yes, you were misdirected. Called Sorbia into the war. Called Ovatricia into the war. Let Gala, you know what I forgot to check, was uh, his prestige. Obviously, he has way too much of it. Um, all of you, run over there. And in the meantime, we are going to raise our first tribal army. Uh, we have plenty of cash. So let's raise two. Are we suffering attrition in our own capital? Supply, 6,000. Okay. Well, in that case, we will drop these off. Grip these two together and go over to Luki. And that's not good, but uh, yeah, head through there and get down to Lakala. Get out of that damn province. There we go. Alright, they can all come down. God damn it. Get around there. I've already lost a thousand men. They must have jumped in just as they were losing it. Alright, group them up. Ingria. Forgot we were doing that war. Alright, let's get these guys up there. So as long as we sit on this and sit on this, we'll win both of them. We can head off to do the more important parts. This will not take too long. And we have the spare domain. What do we lose? Oh, I thought Blues are was... No, we lost Luki. Chief Nikita of Luki. How did he get that? Alright, whatever. Uh, let's offer peace. We will take out Ingria. Just usurps. So we don't have to worry about them holding on to it. And we're at war with Pomerania. So let's go get the war goal. Mendrag, Meidner. And a few children out of their hiding holes. So, three prisoners. Can't ransom them because... The uh, guy probably has no money. Where are we going? Ransom. No interest. High Chief of Livonia. Okay. 1.26. Yeah, really should have gone to war with him as well. Um, don't want to use our thing up though. Alright, now that we are the guy of Russia... Marom is a wrong religion. We won't be able to uh, peacefully vassalize anybody. False religion and not my whatever. Got the power, but not his du jour liege. Small difference in rank, etc. We have to pull somebody like... Yeah, he's still a high chief. They're all going to be high chiefs. Alright, maybe if we were the emperor, they'd accept. And Obtricia, Pomerania and Sorbia are coming down this way. Let's catch them with this army. Alright, victory there. We offer peace, enforce demands, take his land. And I think we're going to corner this guy and just destroy his army for that 75% while we're here. Um, you go to Pushkov. You catch him up there. Pushkov to Tartu. The Holy Warrior is my divine... Alright, they're dropping out. Uh, it's probably from that army. Alright, let's get up there and back. Alright, slaughter them and then jump out. Because... Oh, we actually have enough supply there. Okay. 
but everywhere else they go, they won't have supply. So we have to split this army up a little. Not all of you. These guys are heading down that way. Alright, can get him before he gets out. And we're doing a hell of a lot of damage to them. So, where's he run to? Tartu. And righteous imprisonment because of getting a claim. This is the guy that we want to stop. Lack of power looks good. Killing Yara Polk is fine. As long as they don't have much. Yeah, I'll never actually do that. Ooh, massive recruitment drive. It's helpful. Alright, victory. Going back to Narva. And raise a tribal army. Would be uh, decent. Victory up there. Come back to Tartu. 73%. My steward tells me he's praising my name. Splendid. So yeah, I never actually read the thing. A small army of warriors have converged. Holy crap. Good on you. Alright, so Russian warriors will go sit on Pomerania's capital. And that was all of them. So, we're going to get out and we're going to get rid of these guys. No special event troops are in there. That is all good. These guys are all going to attach to him. But, while we're here, Krivia, we declare war for 1,000 prestige for force vassalization. Um, border dispute costs 100 prestige. No. Is that because they're Slavic, I think? Alright, the removans. We border Lithuania now. We could probably get Conquest of Vilnius. Alright, he won't accept this because false religion, mostly. Alright, we'll declare war for the Conquest of Vilnius. Costs nothing when we declare it. We need to increase our moral authority. So, he's going to go to Vilnius. And as long as we always have one war going, none of these guys will disappear. So we'll be good. Nearly stolen that. 84%. Uh, we need to take off Temple. Oh, we'll keep obligating vassals. Who was it? Perius Lava War and Zerski. The guy that hates us. Hate each other. We rivals. Except Tidal. Why do I hate him? Refuse Cold War. Fair enough. But stops him joining anything. Uh, are we trying to kill him? We are. 69%. We could buy somebody off. 63. How much? 18. I think that'll be worth it. Victory. The Battle of Vilnius. Um, it's only three provinces, so we'll sit here and sage it down. Here we go, 102. You're dancing at the fertility rite held in Jurilo's honour as your eyes find maideners across the bonfire. For a moment, the whole world turns silent. How do we see her across the bonfire if she's imprisoned by us? The drumming is distant thunder, yet the rhythmic vibrations run through your body to your very core. Gain lustful, gain piety. Lustful would let us join the cold ones. We'd lose piety. Gain intrigue, which is on 12. Um, yes. The thing is, a lot of the things you do here can kill you. But we'll join anyway, because we are pagans. I guess we should do it. Siege of Arcona is one. That's the temple back here. Puts us on 100. So, of a peace, enforce demands, which is just for this province, the chiefdom of Arana. But, still got the thing for it, so that all works perfectly. Now, these guys... Need to declare on somebody. Let's come over this way. Um, Krivia. I see no reason not to destroy them. His pact is with his wife. Alright. Uh, vassalization is a no because small difference in rank. Fine. Not going to force it. We're just going to border dispute. 
Actually, that was the reason we didn't do it, wasn't it? He's our religion. Um, do need to head down to Kiev. So if we can take Lubeck. He's got 1.5 plus 2.5. 3,000. He has piety. He is ours, though. So if we were going to do this, it would need to be something that would get us down there. Which won't really work. Hmm. No. All of these would cost 100 prestige to do, which I guess could be worth it. Oh, well, that's the other point. The opinion of all landed characters in your religious group in your realm and his goes down for 10 years. So no, we're not declaring war on the Slavic people. Uh, Marom would probably be the best one. We should still have subjugation. Apparently not, we lost that altogether. Well, that sucks. All right then, um, he is actually kind of weak, so we could take a province. This one's probably worth the most. Hmm. All right, if we go for Vladimir. No, you know what? Let's keep him over this way. We want to head west. Uh, Livonia was weak, I believe. 1.4, 1.7, and a bit. He's got no prestige. We shall declare war on him. The conquest of Limamar. Yes, and then that will get us to Coronia. Well, we're about to take Vilnius anyway. And we can do them anytime. Okay, that one it is. And we want to declare war on him at the same time. He could raise more guys. But, once these guys are over there, we'll probably want to go for Narva. Alright, we die by poison wine. Let's go take the war goal. It's the Lithuanian success. We died not knowing our name. Perfect. So, she inherited. Her heir is her one-year-old brother. She hates us because too many held duchies, etc. Um, we could work our way through there. And inherit it ourselves. Sure, why not? Victory in the Vilnius tribe. Head over to Trakai. We'll ignore them and get the uh, larger army to deal with them. Conspirators and maids, etc., etc., and let's go call these guys in. So two of them saying no, the biggest ones will say yes. Oh, what are we? Thirty. It's our thirtieth birthday. Of course you will honour. All right, let's let Gal head back to our lands. No, screw it. Let's go over there. Success. No one has any reason to blame us. Okay, this guy. Pretty good chance, and we'll inherit everything personally, and then we'll hand it off to new random vassals, probably. Uh, he knows the child she carries is actually mine. Your people are imprisoned by us. And so is your wife. Alright, <laughs> screw you, buddy. So we imprisoned her at that bonfire that we were dancing around together at. Alright, um, I do want to stop him from doing that, but at the same time, I'd rather get this army up there, closer to them. That's fine. As long as we win these before he wins that, actually. We finished with Lithuania. Must get a lot from the war goal. Damn it. Didn't realise I unpaused it. Um, fine. Victory there puts us on 70. Don't really want to attack him, so let's go over this way. Dang it. Alright, victory up there gives us the count, and then we'll uh, head down this way. Pretty sure they're going to take that. He who laughs last, laughs longest. Finally, that filthy infidel of Aldava has left this fine earth. Okay. 
while everything will definitely be better without her. I have a lot of extra time in my hands now. Our spy master becomes our friend. That is perfect. Yes. That should mean that he'll become... Uh, who was it? Spy master. Hopefully he'll uh, switch over to automatically going for us. Yeah, look at that. Loyalist. Perfect. Chancellor Pelrim hates us because of being over our limit. Duchy limit. Um, good point though. We could get rid of a couple of the duchies now. Hmm. Duke Bluesrow. We are your heir. We award you High Chiefdom of Bluesrow. And uh, Muscovy. Moskva. He's our heir. We can't give him the title. What else do we have? Vyavich. He holds them both and he hates us tremendously. Um, yeah, screw you. You're not having it. Moskva or Rostov. Alright, Rostov is him, him, and him. He is our diviner. He is our steward. He likes us 29. He likes us 4. Alright, let's give it to this guy. Um, this was Rostov anyway, wasn't it? Grant landed title. My chiefdom of Rostov. Right, and then Ryzan. We are his heir. He is our marshal. He likes us 14. He likes us negative. Alright. Um, Grant landed title. Ryzan. What else we got? We need to get rid of one more. We need to keep Ilman. Moscow is supposed to be our sons. Vyadic is just because he's a hateful, hateful person. If we kill him first, then we give that to somebody useful. Um, set this guy as special interest, so remember to kill him later. And invite people to the plot. Okay. Should work out fine. Open council position. Excuse me. Hmm. Did we just give them land so they left the council? Fair enough. Um, he wants to be exalted. He likes us a little bit. Um, all right, this courtier can have it, and this guy can have it. When we take some more land, we'll give it to the new chancellor. Um, he was supposed to be fabricating on Kiev. Which is... Down there. Alright, his chances are 15%. Alright, the Diviner needs to build a zeal. Up there. His chances are 32%. That's better. Don't want it too high. Alright, we're there and we're there. You bird has arrived in the Muse. Read the book. Wouldn't mind getting some stewardship. And why are we not assaulting this? We're not the leader of the siege. Alright. Uninspired is removed and we get diplomacy. Actually, with uninspired removed, doesn't that mean we can write a new book? Yeah, it does. Alright, 50 gold. Something about war, something about diplomacy or intrigue. Choose a theme relating to learning. No, I want to do intrigue, preferably. Right, that's win both of these. The daughter was born. Lucky. And acknowledge her as mine. Or denounce the child. Who is the mother? It's the one that's in prison. The mother's husband is most displeased. I'm not going to legitimise her. This was... Yeah. Um, no, we don't care. I'm going to denounce her. Victory at the Vilnius. And... 
Not sure what just changed. Oh, because we lost the occupation. That's fine. Um, we will offer peace to him. We'll enforce our demands. The other war is still going, so these guys don't get sent back. And Lesser Poland still has... What was the other one? Plop. Right, so we want to take Grodno from these guys. Um, pretty sure we've got enough men there. I'm not going to bother counting it up. Can't offer him vassalization. So if we declare war over Grodno, then we'll be able to take Plock. Which would be good. Alright, Grodno it is. Costs us 100 prestige though, for a border dispute, but uh, absolutely going to be worth it. So these guys will go to Minsk, these guys will go to Grodno. And we are losing stuff up there. We actually need to go deal with that. Alright, you go to Grodno. You go take out these three provinces. Um, no, they can raise too much. Coronation of Charlemagne. West Francia tells the Great is finally crowned. True heir to his father Pepin, descendant of Karl the Hammer, etc. etc. Strange tidings. It's fine, well done. Now, I don't like what could happen to these guys. So if we take Harper, Tarjan, and Ilya down here, there should be enough other guys over that side. They're going for Luki. We just really need to do this quickly though. So if we take this and take Tartu. Do that quickly. 52, Jelanda Mar, and we'll have to go over there as well, I think. Massive recruitment drive, good. Um, how are we looking? Yeah. Most attempts to write poetry were never good. Poet gives us diplomacy. With prestige 0.01, right. Still 0.01. Alright, we took the extra stuff too. We lost a battle in Grodno. Crap. Alright, well, let's go win this. 69, so we'd have to head over there. Um, it'd be nice if you could tell the people to attach sort of half and half. Hopefully he doesn't get over to Novgorod. Alright, let's just beat them. Put us on 90. Let's just see if we can do this without doing the rest. Nope. Okay, puts it on 100, so off a piece to them. This was for the chieftain of Olivimar. Alright, gets all the rest of them out of the way. Um, kind of want to get down there and kill them. And then at some point, actually on the way through probably, let's check he won't be vassalized, wrong religion. Uh, so a conquest of... One of these two. Zmaitya. Alright, it's a different religion, so it's free to declare it. Um, yes. Go there. They're looking a little bit scary-ish. Should probably join these guys up. Ah, crap. And, yes, of course we forgot these guys. And we need to get rid of two bits of land now. It would be... These new ones we took down here. Alright. In the court. Actually, let's look at it this way. Search our court. Uh, clear that. Whoever has really good marshal that doesn't have land. No, we we're going to give it to this guy. Grant landed title. For Vilnius, you may have. Should check that he doesn't have any kids first. He does not. Alright, and then we could call him in. Um, the other one was Livermar and Letgal. Alright, so who do we want to give them to? Give away Livermar to somebody Marshally. Harper. Have Livimar. Welcome. K. 
Okay, so yeah, we lost the uh, guys that were attached to that, which means this is going to be far scarier than it should have been. We're going to need to bring all the armies together. He's heading north, luckily. Um, you know what? We're going to raise our guys for a bit until the rest of them can come in. They both have zero men. We'll call them in anyway. Court physician. No valid candidates. Let us call for a guy somewhere. Can't actually do it. Okay, uh, we should be getting a smithy though. While we've got money. We need a goldsmith because we're not often going to be doing uh, military sort of things. Right, let's just go that way. This guy's going to turn and run as soon as he's finished here as well. Defeat in that battle. But they are going home. Alright, victory down there. Who were these guys? They're the Russian warriors. Okay. Just get them to assault. No, not a good idea. Alright, they can stay there anyway. And we're going to keep getting hurt on our way up. Morale defense, low. Morale damage and massive defense. Alright, so he comes in with... No, I should put somebody else in. With more defense from Ilya. After that, you need to really try and get out of there. Alright, and I don't like them going to Torjok. They should stick to Novgorod. Um, on our way through, we're also going to make sure that we can win a few more wars by getting another tribal army. Welcome to the field. Cool, but right, I'm going to take a short break here. So, thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. Let me know what you think in the comments, and hope to see you again soon. See you later.